Hi guys, so I just got back in from London, just got back into the US a few days ago, and I had an amazing time. I hadn't mentioned in any of my videos that I was going over there, but I had mentioned it on Twitter and I was kind of tweeting about it and things like that while I was over there. I had the time of my life. I had never been over to, I had never been across the pond to Europe before. We were there for a little over, uh, about a week I would say. We went, I went with Josh, my boyfriend, and our friend Nick, and I had planned to do a lot more clothing shopping. I really wanted to go to Topshop and just some some places like that and it just ended up that we had so many things packed into our trip as far as sightseeing goes and you know we wanted to see all of the I guess touristy spots and all the sites um, and that kind of a thing and we just really wanted to explore. I'm glad that I spent my time in other ways but I did of course of course end up going to some local spots for makeup and beauty related items and I had a suggestion from Marnie or Miss Gold Girl on YouTube to check out Superdrug. So I was wandering around the city, I ended up in Camden and as soon as I got out of the tube stop I saw Superdrug right in front of me. It was like the clouds parted and the sun rays shone down and it was a beautiful thing. So I dashed right into there and um, kind of did some exploring and I also went into a few other places. So. I'm going to show you what I got. So for those of you in the U.S. who might not know what super drug is, I had no idea, obviously, until I got there. It's basically um, a drugstore, but it's all beauty products, basically men's and women's beauty products. This is a Garnier Body Summer Body Moisturizing Lotion, sun-kissed look, and it's supposed to have an apricot fragrance. So this is basically a gradual self-tanner moisturizer, daily moisturizer, and I thought it smelled pretty good. Um, yeah, it smells really good. I haven't used any of this stuff yet, so these are kind of my first impressions. Um, but I got the deep sun-kissed look, and I just like the fact that it was called Summer Body, and it came in this cool bottle. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, the next thing that I picked up was, well, I got some of these cosmetic wedges. That's not really all that exciting. I've already kind of tore into those and started using them. Um, oh, yeah, the other thing I picked up was... They had a line of cosmetics called Bloom, and most of the Bloom items in Superdrug were sold out. So they did have this lip gloss left, and um, it says it's flavored with mandarin and vanilla oils, and this is the shade Girly. The only thing is they had the entire box taped up, I guess, so you can't break into it and steal it or something. So now that I take, uh, have taken the tape off, the box is like insanely sticky, so I have to get rid of it pretty soon. But, it just looks like this. I really thought the packaging was super cute, and I wanted to get more Bloom products, but like I said, they were pretty much sold out of everything. And this is the shade Girly. It's really pretty. I have tried it once, and it just is like this really pretty pink color. Almost smells like a graham cracker. It's very vanilla-y and very pigmented, and it feels really nice and feels really buttery and rich on your lips. I like this a lot. You know those lip glosses that just kind of hug your lips because they're just very rich? I love that, so I feel like this is one of those. And the color is just like a nice bright pink. It's almost just like a natural pink. And then on to my favorite out of everything was the Sleek Makeup. And I have seen, I have been watching like tutorials on YouTube of girls from the UK and other countries in Europe using Sleek palettes for years. And I always thought they looked so amazing and I wanted to try them so bad for so long. Everything was just very, very pigmented and vibrant. They had an amazing color selection and just very like modern makeup. I don't know, I just love the packaging. Like everything is just so cool. This is the Sleek Pout Polish SPF 15. So it's basically like a tinted lip conditioner, almost like the ones they have from MAC it reminded me a little bit of, and I've already tried it out. And this is the color Raspberry Rhapsody. It makes your lips, first of all, it feels really nice. It's very conditioning, and it also makes your lips look so juicy, and the color really shows up, which is what I want in a product like this. You can kind of tell by looking at it how pigmented it is. It just looks very rich and opaque. As soon as I applied that, I was like, I am obsessed with this. So, <laughs> that's pretty much all there is to say about that one. I wish I would have gotten it in more colors. I wish I would have gotten every color. This is so cool. But, anyway, on to the sleek palettes. I picked up the Storm palette, and just looks like that, the box, and the Oh So Special palette. And along with everything else, they also had 
tester palettes out so you could actually see the colors. You could swatch them on your hands. They're very thin and I feel like they're very travel friendly. And again, I just really like the packaging. It's really cool. And these shades actually seem to be really, really pigmented. I haven't, I mean, they're just gorgeous. I actually went for this palette because not only, of course, the shades seem to be really pigmented. I mean, I hadn't um, swatched any of these out yet because, yeah, they're really pigmented. I haven't really swatched any of these out yet just because, ooh, that looks like a really pretty color. Like I said, I was kind of swatching them out in the actual store. That is absolutely gorgeous. Kind of just an array of neutral shades, but they have some nice pretty, you know, a blue and a green in there too. They look so pretty. I can't wait to try this one out. And again, that was the Storm palette. And I also picked up this one. Yeah, the Oso oh Special is just kind of really pretty. Like, they're really pretty pinks and things like that. Um, really feminine, girly colors. I love this. It's so gorgeous. But there's also some darker colors too, which is nice. It makes it really versatile. I'll probably just go through and kind of name them really quickly. This is Bow, which is like a matte highlight shade. Really pretty. This is Organza which is a really nice blush, kind of like a rosy blush color. This one is gorgeous. This is Ribbon, which is just a really bright pink, almost like a corally pink color. It's like a passion pink, I guess. <laughs> and this next one is kind of a bronzy shade. That one is Gift Basket, which looks like that on my finger. I'm just doing like little mini finger swatches. So that's Gift Basket. This is Glitz, this gunmetal gray. And this one is Celebrate. Celebrate got a little, it's like a deep shimmery plum color. Got a little messed up in my travels, but that's okay. That one is Pamper, Gateau, The Mail, Boxed, Wrapped Up, and Noir. So there's, these are kind of matte shades too. So either way, it's kind of a wide variety of some pink and coral colors. And then you have some darker kind of smoky eye colors too, which I think is really nice. And I think this is just like a great palette for spring too. So then that's everything that I got from Superdrug. So moving on to Sainsbury's. I was actually walking around and I just kind of wanted to go in places that people would go if they actually lived in London. They were going to stock up on beauty supplies. So I actually popped into Sainsbury's, I think is how you say it. Which is like basically just a grocery store. So I really was glad I got to experience that and not just go to like the super touristy like high-end places I guess even though I am a tourist but <laughs> you know anyway so they have this really cool line of beauty products there called good things and they are basically they have really cool packaging kind of like modern like flourishes and things like that um, but it's basically supposed to be free from paraben sodium lorith sulfate animal ingredients and mineral oils so it's supposed to be you know good for you and somewhat natural I guess and everything that I tried from good things smelled so so good so that's pretty much what sold me on all this stuff I mean this smells amazing this is the ultra rich creamy scrub and this is for like I'll probably keep it in my shower it's like a body scrub yeah so they had body butters that were in a big jar and it was a really good deal too I think it was like five pounds or something um, for the amount of product that you got it was I figured it was a really good deal but they didn't have like a seal on them and I'm not, I have some germophobic tendencies, I'm not going to lie. So it didn't have a seal on it, it was kind of like open, you could just unscrew the top and there it was. So I really was, I was telling myself, Allison, just get it, like don't be a chump. <laughs> but I couldn't bring myself to do it, I know that sounds ridiculous. So anyway, I just went, and especially since they had body lotion that was in an actual bottle that was sealed off, so I was like, okay. I'll just get that. What's the difference? So this is the Good Things Ultra Rich Body Lotion Super Fruit Extracts Cranberry and Avocado. So this one is pomegranate and red grape, but it has the cranberry seeds in it for exfoliation. And this one is cranberry and avocado. This is the Belle of the Ball face mask. And all of the Dirty Works products have really cool packaging too. Kind of reminds me of Benefit a little bit. And this is basically just a Belle of the Ball face mask. And it's supposed to detoxify and reveal smoother, brighter, more radiant skin. So it's supposed to draw impurities from your skin and leave it looking fresh and glowing. So, and then it has a little pin-up chick on the front, which is cool. And then I picked up the, everything else is also from Dirty Works. This is the Go Balmy Berry Lip Balm. So that's basically, you know, pretty self-explanatory. Like I said, I haven't 
We should crack this open. I'm guessing this is just gonna be a basic. Yeah, just kind of looks like Blistex almost. Mm. And this one is a lip plumper. This is the Rumpy Plumpy Lip Plumper. And it's supposed to have chocolate and orange flavor. Yeah, and it says again, it may be smooth like chocolate, but please refrain from having a nibble. It is not edible. And it looks like it's just like a clear thing. Yeah, just a clear glass. Oh, wow, that smells amazing. Yeah, I'm glad they put that disclaimer on there because I probably, I just would have eaten this lip gloss. Just kidding. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll have duck lips by the end of the video. Okay, so I think that is everything that I got from Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's. And the other things I got from Duty Free. So I was in the airport on the way back, but still technically in London. So my original plan of attack was to just repurchase my Miss Dior Cherie perfume because that's my favorite all-time scent. That is like the first perfume I really latched onto and really became kind of obsessed with. I feel like that is my signature fragrance if I could pick one. I also, of course, love my Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel, which I showed in my favorites video. I love that one too, but I was just using Miss Dior Cherie forever and ever. Mm, I'm not really feeling, I'm feeling a little bit of tingle. I'm talking about the lip gloss, by the way. <laughs> I don't feel like it's really plumping that much, but it does smell really good. Anyway, um, so yeah, I wanted to repurchase my Misty or Cherie, and then when I got in there, there were so many fragrances there, and the girl working there was really, really nice, and was just kind of showing me some different ones that she really liked, um, based off the fact that I told her I liked Misty or Cherie, and the first one, actually no, the first one she showed me was Kenzo, I guess they have a new, this is the new fragrance that just came out from Kenzo, and this is basically, yeah, it's flower tag, so it's kind of inspired by like a graffiti. Yeah, idea of graffiti, I guess. It says, graphic art to freely express, express your dreams. It's getting a little deep for a perfume. But anyway, this is the bottle. <laughs> okay, this is insanely large and in charge. But it smells really, really good. It is, I do not like super flowery, floral scents. I'm just not into that. It gives me a headache, to be perfectly honest. But this one... Even though it is called Flower Tag, it's a lot lighter. Either way, it smells really, really nice. And it's a super awkward bottle. Like I said, I am going to knock this thing. If I don't knock it over, Biscuit will definitely at one point. But I'm going to keep it in a, in a place where it's not going to get broken, hopefully. Um, but I really like that one. I can't even fit the entire bottle in the screen. Because that is how large it is. <laughs> But it's kind of cool. It's like an interesting bottle for sure. This might seem a little crazy that I'm going, buying and trying all these fragrances, but I'm 25. I feel like it's, it's time, you know? I kind of, like I said, I went a little hog wild in there. I don't know what I was thinking. I went, momentarily went insane. It must have been the fish and chips. I sampled, what's the word? I smelled <laughs> Jimmy Choo, which was, it was sweet, but you can't really say that it was sugary sweet. It has a different, almost like this is what the box looks like. It's just like a python. And it's a different kind of sweet. It's very, I really, really like it a lot. Usually I'm drawn to more oriental scents, but it's just really, it's fresh, but it's warm at the same time. I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe. Again, I'm not really the best at describing notes in fragrances, but I think the bottle's really pretty. And... Yeah. <laughs> okay. I got the Jimmy Choo, I got Kenzo, and I think I'm good to go for a while now. I don't think I need to add my Coco Mademoiselle, so I think I'm good to go as far as fragrances are concerned. So I'm gonna try, I don't even know why I'm trying to put that back in the box. I guess I don't need to. Anyway, that's everything I got in London. So I was excited to show you guys everything. It was so much fun. I really hope I can go back someday not too far away. <laughs> it was a blast, and it was really, really cool to see what people on the other side of the pond are using, what kind of makeup and beauty items are accessible to them. It was really interesting and I'm really glad I got to experience that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I thought it would be kind of a, a fun video to do. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye!